Hey guys, I'm doing Skip to keep bringing another video on information technology. Hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over a try hack me room. Um, today we're gonna go over learn, learn cyber learning cybersecurity. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, really appreciate it. So I'm gonna share my screen. First things first, let me close out of this. this is driving me crazy. Um, I'm gonna share my screen real quick. I should be able to see my screen. So we're gonna we're gonna do learning cybersecurity room today because there are different types of rooms that you could do in uh, try hack me. I actually wanted to go over some try hack me rooms, like some Linux ones, some red team ones, some blue team ones. That's my plan for this. I did say at some point that I wanted to cover try hack me. That's just like one of the things I wanted to cover for this year. But I also wanted to cover uh, CompTIA A plus stuff as well. But I want let's do try hack me rooms first, uh, and we'll see how many views and how many people watch these actual videos of me doing try hack me because I'm not sure if people are interested in this stuff. But we'll give it a go and see what happens. All right. So today is learning cybersecurity. Get a short introduction to a few of the cybersecurity or security topics you'll be learning about. Why well, understand how a website works is important. To attack web applications, you understand how they work. Hacking websites isn't some magical process, but does come down to knowing and uh, knowing how a part of a website functions and being able to identify weaknesses to take advantage of. Once you have a good understanding of fundamentals, you learn about the techniques and tools used to hack sites. If something is vulnerable, it, it means that there's a possibility of being attacked or harmed. If an application system has a vulnerability, there's something that can be attacked or taken advantage of as a weakness. So it says here, click view site. So I already did this room already. I'm, I'm going over it because the way I do it is I like to do the rooms first and get comfortable with what I'm showing you. That way I could explain what's going on behind the scenes so you guys understand what I'm doing, right? So I'm going to go view view uh, site. Hopefully my, my camera's not getting in the way, which it may be getting in the way. So what I'm going to do is if I could somehow... I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this a little bit, of the, a little bit to the left, like just so you, you guys could see some of it, not the whole thing, just somewhat of it. There we go, there we go, there we go, and then yeah, we can go to the next page. You're, you 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 have to go hack it. You have to test the security vulnerabilities on book face. Like, oh man, that was, how how they come up with that name? You mean Facebook? Huh. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go to the next one. It says book face lets the users have public profiles. Here you notice you're always showing a public name. So we have Brent Ben Spring over here. Let's let's copy this and see if we can reset reset Ben's password. So Ben Spring, copy. The account reset usually sends a, an additional code to the users to verify who they are. Ben would receive an email with a four-digit code. What is the four-digit code? Try inputting random codes. Yeah, so type of get a post, delete action. Yeah, so you don't understand what it is. And it says the the, the code we're gonna use like a brute force attack. So this is a brute force attack. It's not going to be possible to manually guess every code. So let's repeat the code uh, web web request sent earlier. Um, the process of trying the different combinations using brute force with a minimum of one to max of ten of uh, ten thousand. So here we go and do uh, minimum requirements, and then we're gonna do up to ten, and then see what it comes out. It says it says, it says this doesn't work. So one, we're gonna do nine hundred nine hundred. And to figure this out, there we go. So now we have 0187. That's the actual code. Congratulations, you figured it out. So we're going to do 0187. And then we're going to do reset password. The answer, the answer is try hack me. So you're trying to figure out, like, well, what, what the hell does what, what does this mean, right? So every every time you unlock, I'm going to go back to this screen. Um. Every time you unlock 
a certain thing, you get you get what's what's called like the actual answer for some of these questions. Like for example, it says what is the username of the account? You know that, and I'm gonna go back to the view site. I'm gonna go back to the be the beginning. You know his name is Ben Spring, so I already knew what the answer was for that. And if you go all the way back, all the way to front, we we already we already memorize his his um code. So we put one and we put not nine. I'm gonna put nine hundred. And then we know that it's zero zero one zero one eight seven, right? And then I reset it. And then it says here the answer is try hack me. So this is the actual answer. So when you hack the the website, what's the what's the answer that's being revealed? Is this answer right here? So I put that in there. That's the, how I got that answer. If you go back to the next questions and tabs here, it says view view site. So this is the next section of it. So I completed this section already. So it's fine. I'm gonna close out of this, right? I'm gonna go to view site again. So this is see the hack in action. So I'm gonna go here. Um, it says uh, targets air conditioning units could be controlled remotely to monitor store temperatures, but we're also going to target's main store. This meant an attacker could compromise a smart air conditioning unit, which has been in the building computer. Which yeah, you could you could definitely do that. I've seen some weird, crazy hacks like in a hospital with uh, hacking the hospital equipment and stuff like that. That is a real thing. But I was scared when I um. When I went to a hospital and they were still using Windows 7 and we were on Windows 10, you know, it was kind of scary to see things like that when I was going to the hospital for my daily checkup. Um, but yeah, this makes sense. Like 300 million was the cost. So now we go back to the questions, right? It says no answer needed, but how much did it cost Target for this breach that happened? It says 300 million was the cost. So it's right here. The answer is right here. You guys got to read this stuff, right? So I, I just read that and it says 300 million or, or, or the cost of that, right? And then that's it. That's pretty much it. So I'm going to close out of this, right? So this goes back to normal screen. And it says here, this is like recommended learning path for me, uh, office per, uh, offensive pen testing or cybersecurity defense. Uh, above is a learning path roadmap. The pre-security patch will teach you the technical knowledge you need to get started in cybersecurity. Once you understand the basics and role in either the offensive uh, ethical hacking systems or cyber defense investigate, investigating attacks and defense systems path, the skills you acquire from the learning paths will prepare you for your career as an ethical hacker, penetration tester, or cybersecurity analyst. So yeah, that's that's it from this room. That wasn't so bad. I already shared it. I already shared that I completed this room. So what happens is when you once you come complete the room, so you guys are aware, you could share this on LinkedIn, and then you show um you show the hiring manager. Or I, I, I can't really do anything here, but you show the hiring manager that you, you get like a like a little like a little thing that says completed, and you show the hiring manager that you're working on a room. So um, this one, I, I I I did this room a long time ago. Um, so I already shared this on my LinkedIn. Well, it's a, it was a while back, but I wanted to go over a room today with you guys to see if you guys uh, like these types of videos and see if you like me to go over some more rooms. Let me know. But I'm gonna go back to learning. Uh, I'm gonna go back here. The one the one that I wanted to go over with you guys, um, if if that makes sense, is is this one. So let me go here. Uh, I'm gonna type Linux. I want to go over this one. I already completed Linux Fundamentals Part 1, which it covers uh, uh, GEP, covers sudo, covers um, C CD, which is, means change directory. Uh, it covers um, PWD, and it covers a bunch of other stuff. Like, I want to go over this room with you guys. Let me know if, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you want me to go over this room. If you do, I'll make a video on this next week, and we'll go over this room together, if that makes sense. All right, so I'm going to stop sharing for now. Um, obviously, you know, make sure, like I said earlier before, right? Come subscribe, give me a thumbs up, really appreciate it. I hope this helps you out if you're brand new to IT. Uh, yeah, like try hack me rooms are very useful for someone that's brand new to IT. I got my first job in cybersecurity, my current job that I'm working right now, because I told my manager that I am doing try hacking rooms. So he's like, Oh, wow, you're doing try hacking rooms. So, what do you know about um, Linux? And I told him, Oh, yeah, I'm doing this, I'm doing the Linux room. I learned GAP, I learned about sudo, I learned about PWD, I learned about change directory. I learned about how to how to go how to do um, DL, which is the it actually gives you I'm not DL sorry LS. It gives you a list of all the files in the directory. And even though I'm not doing Linux right now, he was impressed by that. He was also impressed by the fact that I actually took the time to do a red team room and actually and I had a, I had a conversation with him on different Active Directory attacks. So those are the things that you want to showcase by creating projects or portfolio, or you want to actually talk about that when you go to an actual job interview. That makes sense. With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you. I'll see you later. Take care.
Peace. Later.